Hi, Eric Lenask here. We're at the Rio in Las Vegas at IT Expo. And on the program with me is Irv Remedios. Irv is from Voxer. Irv, thanks for joining me. Thank you. So you guys, uh, Voxer is, is in the mobile messaging uh, space. What are some of the challenges that, uh, that people face with mobile messaging apps today? Yeah, I think there's a, there's a number of things. So first of all, um, there's, there's people that are uh, coming at, at mobile messaging from, uh, historically they've had push-to-talk solutions mm -hmm. or two-way radios. So they've had those kinds of tools to communicate. And uh, those, those, although useful, those tools have uh, certain limitations. They're limited in range. Um, they only work on certain devices. Um, if you miss a message, you can't hear it again. It's a live-only system, so um, so that's sometimes a drawback. Uh, and then sometimes you just don't want to be interrupted. And push-to-talk systems and two-way radios um, mm -hmm. always interrupt you. Uh, so those are some of the challenges there. On the other side, there's some other messaging tools um, that have become popular recently, but they tend to be very focused on text. And uh, text messaging, although useful and and uh, you know very useful in the enterprise. Um, it doesn't convey the same sort of nuance or context that you do when you're having a conversation with somebody. Um, it, it, you can't really tell the importance of the message or the intonation in somebody's voice. So those are some of the challenges, I think, with existing tools. Well, certainly there's, there's no question that um, both email and, and uh, SMS messages uh, have, have the tendency to be misconstrued from time to time. So it's certainly I think everybody can relate to that. Um, how much need, how much demand is there for these kinds of uh, messaging apps and solutions uh, in the enterprise business? Well, we're seeing a lot of uh, demand for new ways of communicating mm -hmm. in the enterprise, especially over smartphones. Um, so there are many companies that either have some kind of a BYOD program that they're introducing in the company or just rolling out smartphones to, uh, to their users. Um, we're seeing companies want to consolidate the number of devices that they, their employees are using. So there's a retailer that we're working with, and they actually have what they call the bat belt problem. So each of their associates has a belt with you know, a whole number of different devices, a two-way radio, a barcode scanner, you know, multiple devices that they're trying to use. They want to trim that down to one device and have applications on a smartphone to, for that person to, to, to use and, 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 and to have a, a much easier way of communicating. I had how do you differentiate, or what's the, the need for, for what uh, Voxer is offering beyond, um, you know, why wouldn't somebody just uh, use what they have, the abilities of their uh, unified communication solution? Sure, I, I think what we're doing is we're, we're combining the sort of power of live uh, vo messaging um, together with the sort of etiquette of text messaging and the etiquette of asynchronous messaging. So when you go into Voxer, the easiest way to describe it is there's a, a big button that you can hit, and when you hit it, you can instantly send voice to mm -hmm. one person or a group of people. And when you hit that button, we are streaming that audio live. So if the person's available, they can actually be listening to it immediately as you're speaking, and they can respond immediately. So it's like you're having a conversation. Um, in some cases, though, you're not able to do that. You might be in a meeting. You might be busy mm -hmm. with something else. And so you'll get a notification sent to your phone and that message will be, re be recorded for you and you can listen to it later and respond asynchronously. So it has both the urgency of a live communication tool and the, the etiquette of text messaging. Is there, any, is there any presence type capability so that I know whether you are available now or not, so whether, whether I can expect to have you uh, listen in real time and respond in real time? Um, is yeah. there a need for that? Yeah, I think, I think presence over a mobile device is, is, uh, is an interesting concept. Um, we introduce things like read receipts, so mm -hmm. you know whether the person has read or heard a message. Um, we haven't introduced sort of, are, is somebody available or not, because your, your device is actually in your pocket uh, or, or with you, you know, all the time. Mm -hmm. And with the, through a push notification, I can always send you a message sure. and, and hope that you get it. So those kinds of tools are still things that we're thinking about. Are you completely network uh, and device agnostic? Yeah, so one of the good things about Voxer is, is we support Android, iOS, and Windows Phone. So with uh, any iOS device or, or Android device, you can be communicating with, um, with other users in your business. And the other thing is that we're also network agnostic. So you don't have to be on a specific carrier network. We work over Wi-Fi. We work globally. So you, there's no lock-in in terms of any kind of uh, a network. You can, you can use Voxer anywhere on any smartphone. Do you see video having a future in, in this kind of application? 
Yeah, I think right now we, we obviously started with voice and that was the first thing that we innovated around. We have text messaging obviously because there's many use cases where text is, is important. Uh, it, photos and pictures, you can share those within Voxer mm -hmm. as well as location. Um, so video would be a natural extension. It's, it's not something that, uh, that we've introduced just yet though. What are your plans uh, going forward? Yeah, I think there's a couple of things we're, we're, we're uh, always working on. We're always working on the ability to reduce latency. Um, so we want that message that you're sending to be as low latency as possible to re receive it as immediately as possible. The other thing that we're, we, uh, we're working on is how can we unlock some of the power and the data that's in some of this voice messaging? So although two people are able to consume or, or a group of people are able to consume uh, all the content, it would be good, for example, for a business to be able to transcribe those messages, to be able to act on the information that's inherently available there. And that's something unique that we could provide to that business. So for example, we work with a number of hotels and um, one of the things that they could find out is, you know, are there particular rooms that have particular service issues uh, because we're always getting called in to repair certain things in those rooms. Um, you know, those are the kinds of business oriented decisions that could be made off on top of the data that, uh, that is within Voxer. Do you enable the, the kinds of um, uh, calling features that, you know, that might be typically available with um, voicemails or, or text uh, uh, forwarding, things like that? Um, how about, uh, what about group messaging? Sure, yeah, group messaging is a big thing. So with Voxer Business, you can set up uh, teams or distribution lists ahead of time and people can just use those, very analogous to email. You can also set up um, just ad hoc groups. So if we mm -hmm. had to have a, a discussion with a couple of other folks, you can easily add them to, uh, to the conversation and, and talk to them that way. Um, in terms of forwarding and sharing, absolutely. So it's, uh, you can take a file and, and a, a voice message or a text message and share it with uh, or forward it to any other individual within your business as well. Very neat. Uh, Irv, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you very much.